Hello, third grade. Today we are going to be working in another app, a digital art project. Um, because this year is weird, we did not have the chance to use clay, and I, oftentimes I know that that is everybody's favorite thing to do. Um, but today we're going to be using a pottery app, and you're going to practice throwing on the wheel, which is kind of a cool thing because typically it's not something that elementary students are quite able to do. Um, it's something that you usually see people in like middle school, high school start to do. Um, a lot of times professional um, clay users, or we call them ceramicists, throw on the wheel. And that's oftentimes how you get like really nice vases or pots or cups or mugs. Um, but we have a digital app, so you should be able to go into self-service, tap the three dots up in the corner, go to art. And you should have an app that says pottery, or it might say let's create. Uh, mine wasn't listed in self-service for some reason again, but it's right here. I'm going to click on that. And I'll turn off that volume. Um, to get started, it's going to say inbox. It's got just a message. You don't need to worry about reading this one. Okay. And I'm going to go to create. And here you see this spinning piece of clay. Okay. They call it throwing on the wheel because it has this circle right here that spins. Okay. And then um, artists can mold that clay into different shapes. And um, Maybe I'll include a video too in the Seesaw activity so you guys can actually see what a professional artist throwing on the wheel looks like. It's really, really cool, but it takes a lot of practice. So it's going to tell you some tips on how to work this. So it says touch inside and move your stylus or finger up. So look what happened. It's got a little bit taller. I'm going to do it again. Now it says touch outside and drag inward slowly. Oh, look what happens. It's starting to bring my clay piece in. Now it says touch inside and drag outward so I can make it get bigger. Okay, so there I have a vase or a chalice or whatever you want to make it. I can make it bigger, I can kind of manipulate it more. Maybe I want it to come out more. Maybe I want this part to come out, this little part to go in. Okay, when I get something I like, I can hit firing. Um, and firing is when you take a clay and you put it in something called a kiln. It's kind of like a big oven that gets super duper duper hot. Um, like hot enough that it can actually melt your clay and turn it liquid. So I'm going to hit the check mark. I'm ready to fire it. It's going to go into my kiln. You can see the sparks and stuff flickering around. And when clay comes out of the kiln, it's called bisqueware. If you have like a brown pot at home that your parents keep like plants in, um, that is bisqueware. Okay, and what it means is it's hard, it will break if you drop it, but it's still kind of porous. It'll soak up water. Okay, so I can hit ready. I'm done. Okay, and then I can hit sell, and I can actually earn some money on my um, piece of vase that I made or piece of ceramic. So right now it's up to seven dollars. Look at that, I made seven dollars off of my vase. Okay, and go to inbox. It might have some kind of a message. It says I heard you found yourself a new hobby and now you're trying to make pottery, so I'm pretty sure you could use some advice from your old Aunt Chloe. Here, try to shape a vase looking exactly like the one in the picture I sent you and burn it. And don't forget the pottery requires both skill and patience. When you're done, tap on the send order icon and wait for my next message. Have fun, Aunt Chloe. So I guess we're going to give that a shot. I can see this picture that Aunt Chloe sent me. So I'm going to try to create that. If you don't want to do Aunt Chloe's challenge, that's fine too. But I kind of want to know what's going to happen if I do it. So I'm going to do my best to make my picture match that. I would say that's pretty close. Looks a lot like the picture. I'm going to fire it. Going through the kiln. And obviously I think I'll be able to sell this. So as I begin to build up some money, I can start to buy things that I can add to my clay. Here we go, I'm ready. Oh, maybe I could just send order. Let's try that. Let's see what happens when I send it to Aunt Chloe. 
So Aunt Chloe says, nice work. Don't worry that your vase was not perfect. Rome was not built in a day. Now let's move on to something more ambitious. Try to create a nice vase like the red one in the attached picture. You can buy the red paint in the shop. Just remember that painting is all about layers. The more you put them, the more vivid the color will be. Okay, so it looks like I didn't get any money for it. Okay, so she actually wanted that one to be red. Oh, she did send me some money. So if you're trying to do what Aunt Chloe wants, you can see that one's red, so I should buy some red glaze. Buy it. Again, they have a whole bunch of things. You could add, buy different colors. You could add some patterns. Um, you can't buy these things. These things are locked over here, but we're just working with the free stuff. Okay, I'll do one more pot. I'll try to make it look like Aunt Chloe's again. Once again, you don't have to. You could just make up your own. Oh, actually, it looks like this thing right here must tell you how close it is to what it's supposed to be, which is kind of neat. All right, close enough. I'm going to fire it. You guys are probably getting tired of watching me. So I'm going to speed this up. Firing. I'm going to put glaze on it. So after it comes out of bisqueware, which is after it comes out of the kiln, um, then you can put something called glaze on it. And glaze is kind of like a um, paint that you put on clay. And then it actually has to go back in the kiln and that glaze that paint that you put on it actually turns into glass so if you have a nice dish at home that you eat off of that if you accidentally dropped it it would break um, that's probably clay that has glaze on it because if it didn't it would soak up any liquids that you have okay like if you had a bowl that was only bisque it would soak up all that liquid so you have to put glaze on it so it's covered in glass so it can't soak things up all right so if i had patterns i could use my brush but i don't have any but you could buy some but I do have colors. I know that I just bought red, so I'm going to pick my color red, and I can start to color my vase. Got to layer it on. Making sure it's nice and even all over the vase. All right, close enough. Looks like I'm up to five stars. Right, so I can hit exit, ready, ready, and I'll send my order to Aunt Chloe again. She sent me another message. She's just going to keep asking me to make things. So the next one, she's going to want to make. Uh, she's going to want me to make something that looks like that. Um, that probably means that I need to get some black striping, which would be in my shop. So you might have to, oh, she gave me lots of money, 60 bucks for that one. So that means you might have to um, earn up some money to buy those things, okay? Um, if you would like to send me a picture of some of the pots you make, that would be fine. Um, otherwise, this is something that you don't have to send me on Seesaw. Um, I really hope that you guys enlear, uh, enjoy this pottery app. I'm sorry we couldn't use clay in this weird, crazy year, but I think that you guys will really like this. All right, take care.